Okay, welcome back, and uh, we're just about ready to go fly. So, a uh, um, couple of last things to do. First off, um, you should always have inside your airplane a AMA label. Okay, that's what an AMA, AMA label looks like. Uh, you'll find it on the AMA website. Uh, it's not as easy to find as you might think, but keep looking, you'll find it. And so, um, I fill mine out and fold it in half like this, and um, uh, you can do several things with it. You can put double-sided tape on it and just tape it to the inside of the cabin. Um, um, I just like to um, put it in here loose, um, down in behind where the cabin is, and... Uh, uh, it's not going anywhere, just a loose piece of paper, and you always have to have the um, uh, identification of um, who the airplane belongs to, and the MA label is a great way to do that. It gives you, um, uh, basically it says, you know, this is an experimental model which may be lost in flight. Uh, Finder should notify owner immediately, and your full contact information be, should be on there, along with your AMA number. And uh, this helps in uh, uh, with your AMA insurance, so it's very important. Uh, the other thing we haven't done yet was uh, put Velcro on the uh, receiver, and for that, I'm going to use that uh, this box of Velcro that I bought at uh, Ace Hardware, and uh, they're just good size little. Um, squares of Velcro. I like to put the hook Velcro on the side of the cabin where I'm going to put the uh, receiver and I put the loop Velcro on the receiver. I'll show you what this looks like in a second. So this sticky back Velcro is uh, very handy for this and as you can see um, the, um, well, maybe you can't see because it's white, um, the, um, the Velcro on the back exactly, the 7 8 inch Velcro on the back exactly fits the, uh, um, um, uh, receiver and put, put it down inside, leave a good quarter inch or more between there and the top so that the, uh, um, because there is an indent on the, um, uh, top of the wing that goes in so that receiver has to sit down in far enough. <clears throat> so you got that. You got the Velcro put on. Um, what to take to the field. Um, it can be very minimal. Take a screwdriver, a Phillips, a small Phillips screwdriver. I, use, I like to use this precision screwdriver. And uh, don't forget to take your batteries. So I, I make up a little box here, and in that box, um, I have a, a smaller little box with all the screws. And I have um, bag C in there, um, which has the spares in it. And then you have the four screws in the top of the wing and the two screws that uh, hold on the um, uh, wing struts, so you should have six loose screws and the bag of spares just in case. And um, I use rechargeable batteries and, and you'll see other videos about my how I use my rechargeable batteries. So I have rechargeable batteries in the DX5 and when I buy those rechargeable batteries they come in a box of eight. So I've got four uh, rechargeable batteries that are charged. So I have spare batteries for the uh, receiver. And then my uh, three um, uh, LiPo batteries fit in this nice size box. Uh, it's a snapware box. So the batteries uh, will all fit down in that snapware box. And then uh, I have a box for my screws that goes on top. And even the little um, screwdriver can go in there. And so that's the minimum you take uh, along with the uh, receiver 
uh, don't forget the little plastic piece that joins the two wings together. The uh, carbon fiber uh, tube to, to join the two wings together. So you, you got two wings, carbon fiber tube, joiner, receiver, and a box of stuff. And don't forget the airplane. So that's about it uh, to take to the field. And uh, uh, the weather looks good today, so I may uh, actually get out and uh, uh, do the maiden flight. Um, it's still early March, and uh, but the weather's supposed to be up to 70 degrees and partly cloudy this afternoon. So this likely gets us maiden flight this afternoon. <clears throat> um, after this video, you're going to see um, additional things I want to do to this aircraft, uh, including... Uh, binding it to the DX6 radio and I'll show you how to program the DX6 radio for this uh, and how to set up uh, the DX5 and the DX6 in a buddy box system so that an instructor can use the DX6 and the student can use the DX5 so you'll see all that coming up in future videos right now um, it's time to go have fun with this airplane and one more thing don't forget to take your um your uh, lipo battery tester because you should always test the battery before you fly and then after you fly so make sure that's in your uh, little box of things to take it fits right in the top thank you